We have just learned that you, Glenn Greenwald, and Laura Poitras, an acclaimed filmmaker also involved in the breaking of the NSA story, um, want to join forces. Um, could you talk a little bit about this media venture, which is funded by um, eBay founder Pierre Omidia? Well, uh, you know, Glenn uh, Greenwald, Laura Poitras, and I um, have been discussing for some time uh, trying to start our own website or news organization, and um, and we were just getting to the to the stage where we were thinking about how would we structure it, what would the mission of it be, how would we fund it, who would we beg for money, and uh, and and what kinds of reporting we wanted to see done. Um, and I was actually in 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 Rio, uh, where Glenn Greenwald lives in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and we were discussing this. And uh, Glenn then got a, an email from a mutual friend uh, of of Pierre's. And Glenn's, and uh, he said, "Oh, P you know, Pierre is uh, is going to be starting a new media organization, and he wants to talk to you guys about contributing, and maybe articles or columns or what have you." So Glenn had this initial conversation with Pierre, and his vision for what he wanted to build was I exactly in line with what we wanted to do. And so we joined forces with him. It wasn't that we went to him and asked him to, to fund this. He didn't come to us and ask us to hire us. It was that we decided to to join forces with him and. You know, he, he's one of the wealthiest people in the world, but he also has an incredibly clear vision of what independent media should look like, uh, that it should have an adversarial uh, relationship with the state, that the role of journalists is to hold those in power accountable and, um, and to provide the public with information they can use to make informed decisions about which policies to support or which policies to oppose, which is our mission in life as, as journalists as well. So I mean, we're incredibly excited about uh, the project because uh, all three of us are journalists to the core, and, and what we believe in is, um, is journalist-driven journalism, uh, not in big bureaucracies that you know, stifle the production of, uh, of stories. So we're, I mean, I don't know what, where we're going to be in a year, but I'm really excited about the journey we're about to go on. How important is uh, this kind of independent uh, journalistic platform for what you call the criminalization of journalism in the United States right now? Well, there's a war against journalism around the world, not just in the United States. You know, in, in Mexico, uh, journalists are murdered every week. Uh, in Somalia, journalists are being killed in huge numbers. In Syria, journalists are missing. Journalists are imprisoned and beaten across the world. And in the United States, we have a president who won the Nobel Peace Prize who is a constitutional lawyer by training, and he is prosecuting whistleblowers in record numbers. They are monitoring the metadata of journalists, trying to figure out who they're talking to, going after the sources. Um, and, and we also have a media culture in the US which is totally morally bankrupt, uh, and it is driven by corporate advertising, and corporations control huge parts of uh, the, the process of disseminating information. So to be able to build an organization that doesn't depend on ad revenue, that doesn't depend on, uh, on state sponsorship, um, is a tremendous opportunity. You know, everyone is struggling around the world with how to build, fund, sustain uh, independent media. And, um, you know, and we're all looking at, at new and innovative models. Um, but I feel like uh, you know, we sort of hit the jackpot in terms of the, um, the ability to move forward by, with building an actually independent news organization without fear uh, and, and, and uh, run by people who uh, believe in taking the fight to those in power um, in terms of holding them accountable and uh, providing people with independent information, not state-sponsored propaganda.